see if I can make this flame out in my side yard. First gear, second gear. Creeps along to make the bell. Turns to the second gear. They made that hard. Let's negotiate. We're still in second. Okay, I did pull the clutch in there. No, this is a clutch. It's my hand. Pretty good. Non flame outable. So I'm going to start off this video with something new. I'm just going to give you a rundown of all the bullet points and from there you can decide whether you want to continue on watching it or not. There are going to be diner runs in a little bit and then there'll be some riding after that. What this is, it's an ECU reflashing service for the stock ECUs for the 2020 to 23 KTM 500 and 501 uh, FE, FES. EXCF or EXC and XCFW. Right now, the price is $349.95. It beats every single aftermarket ECU you can get. The program that we sell over at the Power Bundle, it beats that. And it really destroys things like the GAT and the Vortex and that AIM Type A pink box. Uh, it destroys them as far as power goes and it just purely destroys them as far as price goes. There's the bullet points. If you want to hear more, let's go. This is a pin and racing kind of thing, but it's also on the Best Dual Sport Bikes channel. I work with people far more intelligent than me. Well, they know how to get into these boxes, which nobody does, but they do and work it. Like the old uh, Euro maps, right? 2017, there was a Euro map. Well, they actually have that map. I have access to that map and that was actually our base for it and they manipulated things for there to modify them to the new bikes. Well we took that map and first of all we raised the RPM limit up 600 RPM and then we went in there and the, fan turned, the fans turned on really late really close to the boiling point so we lowered that 10 degrees so it turns on sooner to give you a fighting chance of you know not pulling over all the time now of course you have the air fuel aspect of it so we've manipulated that and yeah i mean you'll even see on our dyno run later how perfectly flat that is but now that's just on a wide open aspect of it but when you're riding it it's perfect between you know 13 and 13.75 basically everywhere uh, we changed the ignition timing on it so down low you increase the ignition timing which is a big thing that you have over say just like a the piggyback programmer in the power bundle that does fuel but it can't manipulate ignition timing adding timing to the bottom now how much and where you add it there's two different places to add it there's to add it on the way up and there's to add it on the way down which you didn't know that did you when you get that right it's extremely hard to flame these bikes out other than that on the way up we've backed off timing uh, why? Well, good question. Because you can run on 91 octane gas. Um, there's a lot of wide open running that like I would do and stuff on the dyno where you could kind of see that stuff where it's really under a load. Um, and then up top, the thing will just keep pulling where something, let's say like a vortex, which we'll show you that we compare against to, just takes a poop. So our RPM limit is the same. You'll see the same wall but there's Peters off so much sooner because the ignition timing is so high that it's just killing it, you know? And you can see how backing off that stuff really helps on the way up. In fact, I'm gonna tell you now that ours beats that basically all the way up and the air fuel is almost basically the same, but because of the ignition timing of it, backing off that a tad, it allows these things just to rev and rev freely because if you have too much timing into it and all those aftermarket boxes have too much timing in them. Too much timing kills power. You can spark too late, 
in kill power or you can spark too early in kill power. So you need to be in your sweet spot in there before the sweet spot. And you will see that at, on the dyno. So you're kind of getting the idea of why this thing rock and rolls. Now all their cards were on the table. Their work is done. They're selling what they sell. So all we had to do is get that, see what they had laid out, and then just sit down and beat it. And then it got farmed out to a bunch of people and then everybody gave their feedback and we went from there. So it's been called the freight train because it pulls hard and it keeps pulling all day long on 91 octane gas. So I'm gonna catchphrase the name, the freight train for this dude. For 350 bucks, basically a third of the price, everything about it is good. All right, let's go for a first run now with our power bundle and the piggyback programmer as a base and then go from there. Okay, good run, safe run, 62. We have a new calibrated dyno, uh, and I think that's a real fair number. It is less than what we used to put out there, but the dyno seemed to be quite a bit off. But all that really matters is you still have your 14 to 15 horsepower gain over stock. That's all that matters. You still have your big gain. So this is the power bundle we sell with a fuel programmer, and you can see your air fuel line is pretty stinking Decent right here, running right along the 13 to one. So now let's run the Vortex ECU and see what happens. Okay, good numbers, fair numbers. You know, don't get bent out of shape if you've got one of these things. They're spunky on the bottom. They've got all that extra timing on the bottom and they pull you know further obviously out here to the top um, all the air fuel numbers I mean it's got a really really good nice flat uh, really good curve here you know pretty similar but this stuff's kind of split in hairs uh, the biggest thing about this is you go well if all the air fuel stuff is about the same you know why isn't it crushing the thing on power and a lot of it honestly is because the ignition timing is a bit on the high side and when it gets too high it starts to retard power. So you get the feeling of spunk when you crack the gas, but it might not be when it's cracked up to B. Let's now run our new ECU reflash. So she's a beaut, right? It's looking real good. And we're going to get rid of this beating everything everywhere. Let's just go to your $900 Vortex versus the Reflash. Yes, it does beat it everywhere. And let me explain to you why. So they both got to about the same thing here, right? With all this extra over rev, their air fuels are almost identical, kind of splitting hairs. So you're going, well, why does it beat it? How can you beat this? Let's talk about that. You know, you're going to say, of course it beat it. Of course it did, because you're trying to sell it. No, it's beating it because their cards are already on the table. Their products are done. All we need is their products. And then you've got all the time in the world to sit down with the computer and the bike and the dyno and the writing and the information from different people, feedback from different people, and sit there long enough to get something that's better. You ever fight somebody that has no arms? They're in the ring. They're there but they can't fight back. So all you gotta do is spend a little time and you get it sorted out. You notice that all the air fuels right about the same place. The biggest difference, a lot of it is ignition timing. It really is. Um, that's why it can beat stock. That's why it can beat the Vortex. Uh, they both might be a little over-timed. The stock one is a little under-timed on the bottom. In all aspects of it though, we really have it figured out. So for 350 bucks with the money back guarantee, nobody has that. Go spend a thousand dollars on a get or a pink box or anything else. If you don't like it, they're not going to give you your money back. Okay, first. A little abrupt. Second. Of course. Third. Of course. Fourth. for 
that guy. <laughs> I thought he wasn't a cop. All right, well, you get an idea of why it's called a freight train. Check it out. It's where I live. Not too bad. Well, thanks for watching. Money back guarantee if you want to try it. You can't go wrong. All right, get it on Best Dual Sport Bikes or the Pinnet Racing.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.